Yo. Your boy has finally returned from a fucking long ass holiday. Your boy got bothered, unfortunately. So I was stuck uh, out of the country for like a month. Um, but we back and we've got so much shit planned uh, for this year. We're working on our website now. Um, I think it should be live when this video drops. We are going to be consistently dropping kits on there. Uh, I'm working on my own loop kit. I know uh, Chris's artwork is getting finalized. And um, I think Cage's kit is ready to go as well. So yeah, we're probably going to be dropping like every other week, I think, or every week. Uh, just to stock up the website. So uh, definitely go check it out in the description. But yeah, we finally back on schedule. Thank God. And today I'm just going to be breaking down this Monty Booker like Smino type beat. I've been watching a lot of Monty's streams on Twitch. Um, I suggest you guys do that as well because he's got an insane amount of gems on there. I listened to Rice and Gravy by him and Smino and I tried to not like replicate it, but um, just kind of have the same feel. So I started off with Monty's like bread and butter, which is <laughs> a normal ass sine wave. I've seen him use this in like many fucking streams. He literally just takes a basic sine wave and kind of just messes around with the LFO. I used Vital for this one because with this beat specifically, I was just trying to use stuff I usually didn't use, even if it is like a, a normal synthesizer like um, Serum. But yeah, it's just a basic sine wave. I think I turned the attack a bit up and the decay a bit down so that it kind of like swells in and fades out. And this is the pattern that I made. And as you can see, a bunch of these notes are kind of just off the grid. So I uh, basically took my MIDI keyboard and um, just kind of played it out to try and get like a swing. These are the effects I threw on. I just did a little bit of EQ because obviously a sine wave can be a bit harsh uh, in the higher frequencies. I then added a simple delay just to give it like a, a stutter when it stops. And I added fruity panomatic that I've never fucking used. But like I said, I'm trying to use like different shit. Even if it's a basic plugin, I try and do a different plugin than like my go-to just to see how it sounds but yeah this basically just pans it left and right like slightly um to give it some movement next i added in some chorus it's just some random preset and then i messed around with the mix and then i added portal as well which is fucking goated in my opinion especially with monty booker beats like you almost don't know how the fuck he makes these melodies like he plays it all out it sounds like i'm using a plugin but <laughs> he just literally plays it out and portal kind of does the same thing for you you can have like a basic ass melody line and then throw portal on and it'll fucking change the whole thing up like it's it's a really good plugin uh, i didn't do much uh with a portal for this thing because i kind of turned the dry and wet knob uh, down a lot but this is what it would sound like if it was uh fully wet So it kind of just gives that like ear candy that you need. But yeah, I usually just like play with a mix knob or with the dry and wet just to like keep it subtle, you know. After that, I added this sub bass that kind of just adds to the bounce. And once again, most of these notes are like barely off grid just to add to the swing of the whole beat. After that, I added this UFO synth. I got all these one shots from a Reddit kit, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's a Monty Booker sounds kit. And I think it's all the sounds he used in most of his beats uh, that is like out now. If you can find it, I'm not going to tell you guys where though, because probably illegal as fuck. But um, it's really cool. There's a lot of one shots and, and the drums are insane. But onto the synth, this is the pattern. I'll lay down for it. So this is how it sounds without portal. Well, I did just some slight EQing to it and this is like the final product uh, with portal on. Experiment with portal as much as you can because there is so much to do with it. Ultimately, I kind of just try and find an effect that has the same bounce as the beat I'm going for and um, this preset kind of just like knocked it out of the park. I think that is about it for the melody. After that, I kind of just added like ear candy to it. So I had this mallet. 
just small things you know to to kind of like enhance the whole beat because you don't want to go like crazy busy with the melody because i feel like monty's drums kind of do all the work i mean his melodies are insane but it's like it, it feels very stripped down even though it's it's very complex after that i added this laser as well just to add some more bounce to it so this is how the melody sounds together For the verse, I kind of just tried to get something completely different from like the, the spacey, you know, the sine wave and the lasers and shit. So I added this, I think it's like a Rhodes. I don't fucking know. It's some key, but it's from um, the amphetamine song with Smino. And this is just kind of like a chord progression I made. And yeah, really basic. I just put some strumming to it and just try to keep it as like natural as possible. But yeah, that's how this sounds. <laughs> And then for the drums, finally. I started off with the hat because I know Monty's hats are fucking crazy in a way that the swing is just like insane. I mean, this is still like normal on his standards because I've seen him make beats on his stream where he just fucking like, it, it doesn't even, it, it shouldn't make any sense, but it fucking does. But yeah, it's just a basic two-step. Every second note, I just kind of duck the velocity so it gives a bit more swing to it. And then I shifted everything to the right for that big boy swing, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I just added some like rolls as well. And um, here's another roll here at the back. And when I do swingy shit with hats or with anything actually, when you place the note down, obviously it'll be on the grid. But if you hold Alt in, you can kind of drag it wherever you want to that's like been the easiest for me for just like dropping shit down if you don't have like a mini keyboard to play it in so yeah this is how the hats sound and then i added i think like three claps or like two claps and a snare and i just layered them all on top of each other to give it like a, a human clap kind of thing after that i added in a little counter snare Next, I added in a perk loop that I think I got from the Mirror Touch Volume 2 kit. I'm not too sure. What I basically do is I drop in the perk loop and then I kind of just chop out the pieces that I don't want and um, the stuff that kind of adds a bounce to it, I keep in. This is how that sounds. It's really subtle. It just kind of, like I said, it just adds to the bounce. You need to add like a bunch of small shit together and then it just fucking works. Now onto like more ear candy shit. I added shit like this roll and um, the El Clasico fucking Monty Booker record scratch. I don't know if he uses this in every beat, but I swear to God on stream, he uses it in every fucking beat, but it just works. It's just kind of perfect to like transition into a verse or a hook. I added this applause sound as well because I don't, I don't fucking know, it just, it just sounded right. And then I added this little drum fill that kind of fit perfectly. And then I added the kick and the 808. I think that is about it for the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out the labels, socials in the description, as well as mine. Like I said as well, we're dropping the website soon. It should be live, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna cop all the drum kits there. There's a bunch of free loop kits I uploaded. I think I got three, and Chris has one free loop kit. So if you don't even want to buy something, just fucking... Just go check out the site. We fucking put a lot of time into it. The artwork is looking sick. We have like the Game Boy design for our loop kits. So just, just go check it out. I don't want to spoil too much shit, but it's, it's really sick. Join the Discord if you guys want to. There is a discount code in our Discord as well as soon as you join it. So be sure to check out for that. I think it's 25% off everything. So go check all that shit out and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.